Hi, this is Tim House for Fishing with House. You're going to enjoy this video. Stick around for it. Thank you all so much. So, look where I'm at. I got back there a beautiful church. It's a Lutheran church here in town. Uh, here I got Lowe's. standing in has, has offered me some good fishing. Um, last time I was here I caught a two pounds, six ounce largemouth that uh, you guys, some of you guys have seen the video on that, some of you haven't. Um, so, it was a good day. The day before that, right here, I caught another bass, and there's one swimming right there as a turtle. Another bass that uh, weighed like a pound six. So this place has been yielding some good fish for me. We had a good rain the other night, or yesterday morning actually. Uh, rained a real short time, but we probably got close to an inch. So it was a good day. So anyway, this is going to be the first cast. I just want to check and make sure that I got everything. Starting out using the uh, Academy H2O um, 5 8 ounce Olympus crankbait and a pretty bluegill pattern. Alex from Realistic Fishing, I think you've used this one before. Um, go check him out. Realistic fishing. He's a really good guy. He, all of his videos are about real fishing, and uh, the guy isn't sponsored by anybody. He just goes out and fishes. Seems like he's always catching something. You know, it's either bluegill or bass or crappie. I don't think I've seen a video where he hasn't caught anything. Um, but I can, I can just about bet. But if I looked hard enough on his channel, I would find uh, videos of him not catching any fish at all. Because he is so real. So, um, Alex, keep up the good work, man. And everybody that's realistic fishing, go check him out. We might catch something, we'll just have to see. Now we got some moss right there. A lot of moss. Heavy moss. Here's the cicadas around me. Some over those trees over there. Some down in these, back in there. These, some of these are older trees that have been here for a while. Yeah, a lot of grass on that one. This pond is grassy, mossy. Some of these even got that mucky moss on there. But. Uh, see this year it's been producing pretty good I never really had any luck here the previous years I'm going to check real quick here make sure I got the camera on uh, I was fishing with my daughter uh, Tuesday had a daddy daughter day Yeah, we're on. Um, and she hooked into a largemouth bass that weighed over three pounds. At least three pounds. And the reason I'm not telling you exactly how much it weighs is because I tried to help her get it in. And I was more 
I wasn't help to her because the fish got off. He was big. And then when I went to look at the footage, I didn't even have the camera on when she caught it. And I really felt bad. I mean, my daughter and I, we, we enjoyed fishing together. She's 25 years old, by the way. Um, so it's not like she's a, a little kid, but, you know, she's my little girl. Just like my 42-year-old son is my little boy. You know, they always will be. Always will be my little kids. But anyway, I felt bad. She caught three fish all together. Uh, I only got totally one on film. And that, you know, kind of hurt my feelings too. We both caught the same amount, which was three. She by far outfished me with size, not by numbers, but with size. And that counts a lot too. If we would have been at a tournament, she would have had to leave. Uh, weight wise I know my son watches uh, quite a few of my videos so I'm, I'm gonna tell him here that I'm gonna be getting in touch with him here real quick to come fishing with me uh, and see what we can do about days out with your kids uh, you have a father Sunday and a daddy daughter day I don't know if he would like having a daddy Sunday but that's what we're doing. so if this lip list doesn't produce for me here for this, uh, I'm gonna switch off to the spinner bait that I got over there and it's in a bluegill pattern as well. And that's what uh, my daughter hooked the uh, big fish on Tuesday. The angler assets half ounce prop, half ounce profit gilly. It's a good spinner bait. For those of you here local in my town that know me, you can pick them up at the local Shields. Anybody else, if you're interested in an angler asset spinner bait, you can pick, you can order them online at Tackle Warehouse. Now it's important for you guys to know and for YouTube to know, I am not sponsored in any way by any company that I mention. If I mention a certain company, uh, it's either because I'm using the product that I'm talking about they're made by that company I'm not endorsing them in any way I'm just saying what are my favorites and what aren't oh, got one right there not a big one but it's the first fish of the day not big by any means just a little dink and that's fine a dink is a dink There's a look at the first fish, <laughs> the first fish, the first bass of the day, first fish of the day. That's what happens when you cross bass and fish, you get bish. So I'll hang on to this lure for a little bit.
gold flash out there, so probably a bass of some type. Maybe he'll get it this time. big but here. bigger than the last one yeah, nice fish nice fish Just let out a little line here I don't think he was the one I hooked into earlier hold still hold still and I'll get you off here hold still Hold still, buddy. Oh, you bit me too, you little shit. Okay. There we are. Nice little fish. Now I'm going to put him, put her or him on the scale. Um, I'm going to kind of guesstimate right now that is when we're going to be like pound two, pound three. I might get lucky, but I don't think she's any bigger than that. The scale is zeroed out. One, two. Yep. I will definitely take her. Pound two ounces. Get her back in the water here. Step on my rod. There you go, girl. <laughs> the way she goes. Okay. All right. So that's number two for the day. And. I left my house at 9.30, maybe, 9.45, let me see what time it is right now. Right now it is 9.54, so uh, I've been here a half hour after yik yakking with uh, some of the, uh, the people that work here. I've probably been, I've been fishing as long as the film has been running, put it that way. So these sections that you're seeing now, every cast that you see, uh, is every cast that I've made to catch two fish. Um, I'll do as little editing as possible on this video. give you as much video time as I can so I mean you might have two or three three hours of video to watch if you want to watch the whole thing unless I do cut it down like if there's a section that if there's a 12 minute section that doesn't have any fish in it and that's I say 12 minutes because that's what my GoPro uh, resets automatically for uh, every 12 minutes it will stop and re and stop recording and restart automatically that way if your battery runs dead or something happens you're not going to lose all kinds of footage that you thought you had if you got a battery charger like I do um, but if there's no fish in a 12 minute section I filmed, then yeah, I'll cut nine minutes off of it anyway, just to save you all some time from having to click through the video and 
having to sit there watching nothing happen at all. But for the most part, it's going to be every cast that I make, you'll see. like the fish when they're hitting they're all hitting them right about the same spot so they may be following me think the time that I'm going to be here I don't think I will even bother moving from this spot unless it just it's about. So what is it about? It's the second decent one I've caught out of here. The entire time, the entire five time I've fished this pond until this year I've never had any luck. I've only caught one fish um, out of this pond right about pandemic time. Everybody was scared to get out. And, uh, I gotta get my pliers. Oh, look. He's deformed. Look at that mouth. I didn't do that. He's... Wow. Poor guy. Let me get this lure out of him. I'll show you what's going on with him. You be careful because this one's on his gill. That gill plate anyway. Not him. something you don't see every day. The fish has been injured. You see? Right here. Poor guy. Yeah, so let's look at maybe uh, I'm going to say not much bigger than the other one that just caught. This one, this one might I'm go a pound five or a pound six. I'm going to put him in on the good side. Oh, he's 110. 1-9, 110, 1-9. Okay, it stopped on 1-9, so that's what we're calling it, 1-9. Yeah, thank you for biting, buddy. Thank you so much. Good luck with that mouth. So it looked like at some time he either got in a fight and kind of lost or somebody hooked him and uh, really messed up his mouth which is probably the case so 
sometimes people will catch a fish and just rip their mouths apart trying to get the, the hook out. But that almost looked like looked like a a wound from another fish or uh, something like that. I'm gonna clean my lure off here a little bit. So that's number three. Number three and the biggest one at a pound eight. Imagine that. Like I said, I probably won't lose move from this spot. Unless it's just a few feet one way or the other. But I think I think I found where I'm gonna be fishing today. come back for it. I doubt it. It went too far. Came up out of the water. Doesn't mean there won't be another one. I can say is he was over a pound. Don't know exactly how big.
this next throw after this, I will go back to my whipless. Whipless is my go-to bait no matter what. I, mean, I really enjoy throwing these angler assets spinnerbaits. But as you see, I catch I do catch more fish on the whipless. But sometimes I catch bigger fish from spinnerbait. Last time for good measure. Oh, there he is. Oh, he pulled some drag. Okay, all right. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> About that one good time for good measure. Those don't count him before he gets up here, though. He's a good one. He's a good one. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what I came here for today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, angler asset spinner bait, oh yeah, look at you, so this is a three pounder at least, at least a three pounder, look at that, look at that, I can almost put my, I can put my hand down in his mouth, my goodness. in the water but you can see where she hooked that my goodness my goodness poor baby probably gonna make her go blind I'll try not to Hold still, hold still, baby, hold still. Well, it said 2-9, but I don't know. 2-9, two, 2-10. Two, so let's see. Hold still.